it's Derek and we're back with finding a session for coaching we have our last coaching session with D Dog, where I played a couple games with him and the objective for today's stream will be we'll go over it and we're gonna just look at his gameplay a little bit and we're gonna see any mistakes he's made areas he can improve in and just all around um it's just any comments or notes i have on his gameplay so let's start off so we're waiting for him to join the arena right now all right so we got pikachu and marth so this is the first thing that we should think about before he starts the match so we have Pikachu, he is a light character, he likes to get in, he doesn't have a lot of range. He is a very brawling type of character where he's got to be in your face and his all of his combos start from landing aerials or from grabs. Now he does have T-Jolt which lets him camp a little bit, but at that point there's not much he can do um, besides range. It's a pretty slow laggy move. And the best you can do is roll away from it, spot dodge, or shield it. But specifically in this matchup, Pikachu is going to be on you and on your shield very often. So your best tools here will be to get him off your shield and make him work to get to you. So let's see. First thing that happens is a run-up approach. Pikachu back here. Now, the supposed to be right here is another back air, but it was a miss input, so you got a forward air. And right there, I took your jump. So you're no longer able to jump here. If you were launched outwards, then you most likely would have been killed. Though in um, proper circumstances, it would have been a second back air and a third back air, and then you would have been all the way out around here because you can't escape the back airs unless you SDI upwards this direction. So now I'm over here off stage and you are over here. Now you are in a position for ledge trapping. What I can do here is I could do a side B, which would bring me back this way. I can do a T jolt either here to here here to here or t a little bit up here and then I fall downwards and then I grab the ledge here so how do you cover these what you can do is you can do a down tilt where you have your sword hit the ledge here to try to go for a tomb frame and a two frame is where when I try to grab the ledge, there's a two frame window of me losing my invincibility where you're able to hit me and knock me out. Now, the next thing you could have done is you could have ran off and then you could have done a forward aerial, which would have covered around this much area with your sword. That would have stopped Meek from going straight and that would have stopped me from going down up. So my only choice here would have been to go up and over your sword. So let's see what I opt to choose here. Here, I opted to go down and upwards. So right here, I see you're starting to do a, a uh, dancing blade. Now what this covers, it only covers me going up or straight. Now I've opted to go down, which which is what most Pikachu's will do. They, they like to go down as it's more safer. So what you should put in practice more is using a down tilt to um, ledge guard and try to get me on a two frame. Now I have grabbed the ledge of instability. Let's see, delete this. Now I ended the dash, or I ended the, um, you ended the dancing blade. Now, what do we have here? We have Pikachu right above you. Most likely I'm gonna come down on you with a um, falling nair, which starts my combos. 
So you always have to be wary about that. Uh, let me check something real quick. Okay, just making sure. All right, and here, oh, we got a back here. It's supposed to be a nair, but if I got you with a nair, that would have started the whole combo chain. So now you're up, dash attack. And now I am on the floor and you opt to air dodge upwards, I believe. No, air dodge downwards. So let's back it up a little bit. So now you're in the air. Now you're in disadvantage. What should be what you do right here? Well, Pikachu, what he can do is he can go up with his up air. So the best option you could have done here would have been a jump upwards. As if you would have landed here on this platform, I could have done a a jump to Nair. I could have done a run up up air. I could have done a jump forward air. I could have done a run forward forward air. Run forward up air. This whole platform is pretty much covered by me. Now your best move would have been a jump up this way and wait for me to come. And if I try to go up here, what you can do is you can jump up and then wait for me to come onto this platform and you can put a down air and the down air will hit me and protect you while you land. See, as I jumped on the platform, if you were already up here and you threw down a down air, that would have been more likely to hit me. Now I am on the platform and you're shielding. Most likely what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to grab you because you're at low percent, 24%. Pikachu loves his grab combos as that's the right percentage he wants you at. Most likely a grab down throw. But here I opt to go for a down tilt so that I could try to hit you down to this area. But you retreated. You got the parry and you retreated. Now, let's see what the next move is. All right, so here you went to go be aggressive. Let's see. Once you've escaped, you backed away. That was perfect. Now here, you need to be a little bit more patient and wait, wait for me to come to you. Is if you try to attack me, I have way better frame data and a higher chance of bidding you out in a brawl. Now you jump over me and away with the aerial, which is really safe. That's good. Now, Tadril is a tricky move. You have to be really careful and you don't want to be anywhere near Tadril. Because what happens here is if Tadril hits you, I can attack you like I just did. If you're on the ground and you shielded it, Tadril will hit your shield. I'll be able to grab you after Tadril hits your shield. It's a very tight window to escape. So if you see Tijol approach you, the best thing you can do is stay aerial or go away from it. Now you're jumping again. Now the biggest thing I've noticed is that whenever you're hit or in disadvantage, you like to jump out of the way. There's a good down air right there. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This down air, Right there, you just did. Should have been this down air here from earlier in the game. Now I am above you. You have to be careful. Because now Pikachu can come right down and hit you perfectly with a down air. Even though I'm right here, I already started drifting back this way, anticipating that you'd move right here. And I throw out the down air, expecting for it to hit you right here. And it does. So what is something you should have done here? Let's back up a little bit. Okay, you're now on the ground. You have to be really careful. Here, the best thing you could have done would have been a jump upwards and throw out an up air. What that would do is if I kept going downwards, that hit me. If I went back this way, that most likely would have hit me if you would have drifted slightly this way, seeing I was starting to go over here. Alright, let's see, 
me get rid of this real quick. All right. So now you just teched in place and I'm approaching you. Best thing you could have done here is roll away. Roll away if you're not in a position that you feel comfortable or an advantage in. Instead you shield again. You always seem to be shielding whenever you're on the ground and you see me running towards you. It's a common thing. If a player is scared, they'll most likely shield. And I know that. That's exactly why I try to go for the grab. So what you could have done here is you could have spot dodged, could have rolled away, or you could have tried to intercept my aggressiveness by throwing out an F tilt, which would have hit me coming in. Now I down threw you and you DI'd inwards. Here I'm able to get an up air, except I didn't realize that in time, so I opted for a forward air. Now that was good. You try to land with a forward air right here, except you misspaced it a little bit. Now this forward air is only going to cover this much of you. Now, as Pikachu, I am right down here, a very flat character. Most, You're not going to be able to hit me if I'm right here with that move. What you should have done is waited a little bit more until you're lower, and then that forward air would have covered this whole area. dash attack all right you have to be really careful here you're at 81 percent you're not gonna die here except to lightning <clears throat> or any pikachu gimps so you have to be really careful if you jump up here you're in risk of being thundered if you keep going downwards pikachu is at risk of jumping up and forward airing you the best thing you could have done here is be patient and drift down and drift back a little bit keep drifting back drift back in or worst case scenario just keep drifting all the way back down don't be afraid to go very low the lucky thing you have with marth is that if you're really low your up b is one of the best up b's in the game if you up b down here and i'm standing right here where i'm at and you grab the ledge that up b is going to hit me is your up b hitbox goes all the way up to like right here. Even if I'm on a ledge, that'll send me off that way. So what do we go here? There we go. The only way you could have died for sure on the ledge garden is exactly what I anticipated for you to do. You have to be very careful. I ran down and spaced my lightning anticipating that you would jump and be right here in this spot that is exactly where I'm heading to and the lightning will drag you down to me that's what happens when you try to rush to get back everyone wants to get back to the stage as fast as they can the thing you need to learn here is to be patient once you're off stage and in the air. You have all this space, all this time to just wait. If I ran down and lightninged and you, you were still here waiting, not using any jumps and you're slowly falling down, and you saw me lightning here, you would, you would have been able to throw out a forward air and punish me right here for lightning. Or you could have just opted to go back to stage. But here, you decided to jump and you're gonna be right there. And now I got you my trap and you fell down. So there's a couple snares that happen when Pikachu sends you downwards. If you DI inwards towards the stage, you're gonna miss me and you're gonna go right past me and you're gonna get spiked from the cloud. Now, if you DI inwards and you hit me, it would have launched you all the way over there and you still would have lived if you would have di'd outwards you would have ended up here which would have launched you that way because pikachu's lightning will only send you in the in the side you're on pikachu if you're on my left side i'll send you to the left if you're on my right side you send me i'll send you to the right though if you miss me it'll spike you to the floor if you don't hit me and that's exactly what happened to 89 the only way i could have killed you is exactly what you fell for 
so you have to be careful for that and keep in mind always look at your percents is your percents is what the other player is going to be looking for and how they can kill you at those percents <clears throat> so what is the first thing that we do now you have you just came down from the angel platform you have invincibility so I'm playing it a little bit safe, staying back here, waiting for your invincibility to run away, and I'm trying to run away for you. And then now I see your invincibility, we're off. Now I'm preparing for my next attack. I'm being aggressive, and you want aerial. The best thing you can do here is to throw out a forward air. Option number one, throw out a forward, or, um, forward air right here to anticipate me coming in. I wonder where my pen is at. seconds let me see my pen disappeared there we go okay best thing you could have done here is option one anticipate me jumping at you with the forward air and you throw out a fair that would stop me option number two you would anticipate me going in for a dash attack, so you would put a down air. Or option number three. That would stop that. Option number three, you would back up this way and just wait for me to um, show my move. But let's see what I opt to go for. I try to go for a grab. And you did exactly what you should have done. Option number three, and you backed up. That's perfect. So now that we're backed out, you're safe, and that was the correct choice. If you would have landed here, you would have been grabbed. Once again, you are at 0%. That is exactly the percent Pikachu wants to start looking for his combos for it. So you stay in the air, anticipate the grabs. So now I'm shielding. And I'm intentionally shielded facing away from you because if you attack me on my shield with the landing um, aerial, what I can do is I can back air at a shield and back air again and back air again until you're off stage. And right here, instead of landing on me, you dropped on the ground and you put a well spaced uh, F tilt, which is perfect. Is if I back air this way, I shouldn't be able to reach you theoretically. Exactly just what happens. I wasn't able to reach you and you backed away. That was perfect. Now I ran up and anticipated you dropping down again. Here, what you should have done is thrown down a down air, anticipating my aggressiveness. Now I got you with the grab. What's gonna happen here? Let's see. Oh, this is the infamous Pikachu loops. So I down throw you, and I'm gonna put out a Nair, and I'm gonna drag you back down, and I'm gonna grab you again. Now I opt here instead of grab to hit you with an up tilt. Now I'm gonna jump, I'm gonna Nair again, and it's theoretically supposed to hit you there, but he jumped out preemptively, which is perfect. Here, I was a little too slow with the Nair, so you jumped out, which is great, and you escaped it. Otherwise, that would have been 60% if the combo finished. Now, I'm fishing for it again to finish the combo, so run away. Now, question. <clears throat> what is the reason for this F smash here? I am at 23%. What, uh, what is the F smash going to do to me at 23%? Assuming the worst case scenario, you got me right here at your tipper, mid stage at 23%. Pikachu will not be dying at that percent. You need to be opting for for moves that you're able to put me in disadvantage and get more percentage off me. Instead of an F smash, why don't you try to go for a dancing blade down variation to get more percent on me? and then put me in a more bad spot. You can do Dancing Blade upwards to put me in the air where you're able to juggle me with your attacks. You can grab me and throw me up, try to get more up airs. Don't ever look for smash attacks when they're not gonna be killing. 
Now you're backing away and you're doing dancing blade perfect. Need a down variation looking for percent. That's really good. But you have to you have to always be careful to not show your hand too early. If I'm all the way over here just finishing a move and I already see you starting this, there, there's no way you're going to be able to hit me here unless I decide to just run towards you. But I already see what move you're starting. So here, the best thing you could have done is stopped. Right here, stop. Don't finish out the move. Here, what you should have done is you should have shielded. Um, let me see. Yeah, exit this real quick. Okay, what you should have done is stop the move and pull up your shield. Okay, this is what's gonna happen. If you pull up your shield, I'm gonna land on you with a Pikachu Nair. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna have your shield and you're gonna stop it. Now the next thing you have to do, if I, if I or any character ever puts an attack on your shield, you as Marth and Lucina, have one of the best get off me tools in the entire game next to just a maybe game and watch having a slightly better move but you have one of the best if not top three best up b out of shield moves if you're ever in a shield and someone attacks your shield do up b out of shield this will attack this entire area in front of you even if you used it right now it would have hit me 100 percent that is something you really do need to put in practice. Now, I landed on your shield with Nair, theoretically, assuming you were shielding there. But your side B luckily launched you forward a little bit. But still got me got you in a combo. Now you're stuck in the loops, and now I have you on a platform. Here, the best thing you could have done would have been to get up attack. Maybe get up attack you would have hit me going upwards, though you rolled. So it's all about the mix-up. Now, this is exactly, I want you to pay real, real, a lot of attention right here. This is the biggest lesson you need to learn as playing Marth. If I am right here on your shield exactly like this, I need you to up B out of shield. What this is gonna do, you can face it either way, that's why it's really broken. What that's gonna do is that's gonna hit me off of you. And now what happened here is you let go of shield and you, you didn't wait for my move to end. So you need to be a little bit more patient when you're in shield and wait for my move to end, then up you out of shield. So now you're in another combo. Here, you did a forward air, that's good. But you kept, you kept going back inwards. I don't know why you threw out your fair and went back to me, it's dangerous. What you should do is you try to land here and reset yourself. Nice, here we go, down air, very good job. Here, what you should have done is an up tilt. Uh, exactly, just like that, good job. Now, the reason I got this lightning on you is because Pikachu can throw out lightning whenever he wants. That's his combo breaker. That's how to stop people from punishing them even more. Now, here, what you should do, instead of doing a fair, I need you to down it here once again. And he did, good job. Now the problem here, let's find out what the problem here is. Once you're throwing out your aerials, you're using it too quickly. Pikachu is a small character. You need to wait a little bit, a little bit of waiting, 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 and then you throw out your down air. If you were against like Sephiroth, or Ridley, maybe that move would have hit, but you're not. Right now you're playing against Pikachu, and you gotta keep in mind that you need to be a little bit more patient when your moves are out and space it a little bit better. Now, here's the big thing. Down air, you have to be really careful. This down tilt was supposed to be a forward air. Now that forward air would have hit you because you always like to jump back on stage as quickly as you can. You need to get that habit out of your system. What you need to do is instead of jumping here, you're supposed to wait a little bit lower and then up B. That up B would have hit me way off that way. 
you need to recover it with your up B a lot more. It is really good, and there's no reason Marf should be putting himself out here. Now, let's see. <clears throat> even though I was shielding right here, even though I was shielding right here in this corner, this was me in a shield, you opted to go all the way out this way. What you should have done here is should have tried to grab ledge or try to empty lands and grab me. That's called a tomahawk. Now, I'm probably going to grab you again right here. Or no, F tilt. Now, if you're against Pikachu and I hit you with attack chase like this, I've noticed that every time, besides that one time you're on platform, you opt to tech in place just like that. That's how I knew you're gonna be right there, so I decided to jab you. Though I could have got more of a punish there. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna mix up your tech chases. You either wanna roll this way or roll that way, but this whole game, you've just been teching in place. You gotta mix it up right there. Let's see this again. Another situation where you're shielding and you didn't up B. If you up B to add a shield right here, I'd be far gone, and you would have punished me for jabbing on you. You need to up you out of shield. Now you got the counter. That's good. You notice I'm very aggressive, especially when I'm coming down the air. So that did hit me. Now you have to be really careful right here. Even though he just hit me, you're in a very dangerous position. Because Pikachu T Jolt, this position right here is one of the most dangerous in the games. Because T-Jolt, this is what T-Jolt's going to do. T-Jolt's going to go down here. And then it's going to bounce and bounce and bounce until it gets to you. If you are right here. Okay, there's an example. Let's say you ran up this way. Right? There's a couple snares that's going to happen. If you shielded, T-Jolt would have hit your shield. And I would have been right behind T-Jolt, right here. And if T-Jolt hits your shield, I would have grabbed you. Because I'm this far and this close away from T-Jolt. Now that's if you shielded. If instead, you you um, you um tried to avoid the T-Jolt by jumping, yeah, the T-Jolt would have gone under you, but I would have gone up and hit you with the forward air, and that would have hit you. Now, the, there's a couple ways to escape this 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 trap Pikachu has with this T Jolt. What you could do is you could be more patient and wait wait right here or go onto this platform where it doesn't matter where the T Jolt is. You could have spot dodged the T Jolt, but that's kind of a tight window. I don't recommend. Or you could have it's rolled behind me and the T Jolt. But instead, let's see what you ought to do. And here, you see how you ran up and you shielded the T-Jolt? This is exactly what I said would happen if you shielded the T-Jolt. I am right behind it, ready for the grab, anticipating you're going to shield it. Now, assuming you had really fast reactions, the best thing you could have done right here is once again, up B at a shield. But you got to get it in your system. It's not just something you can develop overnight. You gotta practice with it, up you out of shield, up you out of shield a little too much and just get it in your system. Now here I grab you. You have to keep in mind, this is Pikachu, it's the best place to be in. If I grab you, this is what I'm gonna do. I am going to up throw you. Because Pikachu has a confirm. If you are in this range from 80% to like 110%, I can up throw you and I can lightning bolt you. And that is a confirm, you will get hit by it. Now, there's two ways you can escape it. Once I grab you, you have to, you have to be DI'ing either to the left or to the right. Because if I, if you DI'd to the left or to the right, that lightning would not have hit you. Though you didn't DI at all, you had no DI. And that is why the lightning hit you right there, smack in the middle. And even though you're all the way over here at 80%, the lightning shot you all the way over there. And you died for it. 
you have to remember, DI Pikachu's throws as best as you can. If he throws upwards, DI left or right. That's how you don't get hit by the, the lightning. Remember that. Here, I got you with the back air. Back air, back air. You're gonna jump here, I knew it. Though I didn't punish you for it, but you're just being very predictable. I just know every time you're hitting disadvantage, you're so scared of being off stage. You gotta get that, that habit out. You're gonna jump, you're gonna wanna get back on stage as fast as you can. Here, I could have done a run up um, lightning. But I didn't, I wanted to get a different combo. Lamp the Nair, right here, once again. You gotta up be out of shield, up be out of shield. That would've hit me, I hit your shield. Now, um, I, I'm not sure what happened with that up smash. I think, let me see. I was a little too far away. It's kind of hard to hit Pikachu with your up smash on, if I'm not like right next to you touching you. I uh, misinputted my um my move so that t wasn't supposed to be there, but still. Once again, you jump back to stage as, as if your life depends on it, and that's what's going to get you killed. This right here, this down air, was supposed to be a lightning uh, down B, not a down air. So you got a little lucky there. Now, quick attack. You got to be real careful. Up B out of shield. Up B out of shield. Up B out of shield. No, I don't know why you're nairing out of shield. If you hit me with the up B out of shield, you would have got me. Up B out of shield. You don't even need to up be out of shield. If you feel like you're being threatened in the air, mid combo, like right here, if you're scared, up be out of shield or up B and just hit me because your up B isn't just above you. It hits everywhere below you in like this frame area. If I'm below you, I'll still get hit by your up B. If you're scared and you just want to get out of my combo, up B. Now, quick attack, I got you again. Once again, you teched in place. You gotta mix it up a little bit. Tech away, tech this way. Or else I'm gonna just keep doing the same thing, anticipating you're gonna tech in place. Now you're playing patient, staying away, that's smart. But, once again, you just can't contest my T-Jolts. Now I'm gonna jump above you, I'm gonna hit you. Gonna go down for a lightning again. Oh, I, I uh, miss input in my jump, so it wasn't supposed to be like that, but I'll give you that stock. Once again, you tech in place, and I knew it. That's why that's why I was jabbing. Up you had a shield right there, but it was too late. And this time, you missed your tech, and this is something that should have ended the game right now. I put you in a jab lock. Now, I knew without a shadow of a doubt you were going to roll over there where I was, and that jab was supposed to be an up smash. Though, I wanted to be a little bit nice and just jab you as a warning. And there's the up smash. That would have been a game right there, JV3. I got the counter, you gotta start using it a little bit more if I'm being super aggressive. I don't know why you're down smashing right there. I'm in the air. The best thing you can do if you're in doubt, shield and up B. What happens if you shield here? Nothing. You don't, I, I baited out your, your down smash. If you shield and you waited for me to land on you, you would've got the up B punish. Now, I don't know why you're, you're F smashing me at 41%, but you gotta get that out of your system though. Fish for moves that are safer and can bring you more percentage. And here is the classic Pikachu. You just gotta be careful about it. Pikachu's F smash will cover, um, get up that far away. There you could have rolled, you could have been a little bit more patient, on, hanged on the ledge a little bit. No one's forcing you to jump up on the stage that quickly. There's no reason to um, rush, your, rush your thinking. On, on stage, your neutral is really good. You're really patient. You just need to work on your spacing a little bit. Now, off stage, you are very impatient. You want to get back on stage. You want to jump back. Get back to safety as fast as you can. 
and that is how I know you're going to do things and how I ended up best in you that game. Just a few things to learn. Let's see. Let's switch over to the to the next game. Here we'll um, walk through a. Oh, let me let me just show you this this combo real quick. Okay, you are at zero percent. This is what Pikachu is looking for. You're parrying and shielding that uh, that G um, uh, Thunderbolt jolt and you keep you kept doing it since last game you gotta realize every time you do i'm gonna try to grab you is right now i'm fishing for grass as you can as you can see because this is exactly why i am this is called a pikachu nair loop this is where i can hit you and hit you and bring you down get you 36 percent i can keep it going and now i got you at 57 percent okay Let's try to find a game where I'm playing a different character. Okay. Different characters, different mindset. You gotta change your plan entirely now. Now you're playing Captain Falcon. In my head, this is what I'm thinking. You are playing Captain Falcon, a fast character whose combo game is insane. You're gonna be fishing for a lot of grabs to start your combos and a lot of side Bs to start your combo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to overwhelm you and be in the air and throw attacks and evade you as best as you can. Because if I shield and you grab me, that's a combo that could potentially kill me. Now in your head, you should be thinking, I am playing Fox, a fast character with very good frame data, and I'm going to try to overwhelm you. Now what you need to do here is you need to shield a lot in this matchup versus me, because Fox grabs, they don't kill. They don't lead to a lot. They're, they're not combo starters. My combo starters are down tilt, dash attack, um, landing fair, landing there. They're, his whole kit's a combo starter. Landing there. Everything but his grabs are combo starters. So you need to be very comfortable with shielding a lot versus Fox. Now here, the, as you can see, the very first thing I do is is shield anticipating you try to go for a side B to start a combo. But here you're now you're in the fox zone. Very soon you're about to get comboed, very comboed, and you're shielding very good. Now you need to take a page from Marf's notes and you need to learn a B out of shield is your best friend. All these characters, Marth, Lucina, Game and Watch. Captain Falcon, Ganondorf, they all have insane upbe out of shield tools, and you're not using any of it. If you upbeat out of shield here, it's a command grab. Even if I'm shielding, you're gonna grab me. Right here, if you upbeat, it would grab me. The Captain Falcon range for its command grab is insanely far. This, this is what you really need to learn the most from our session: upbeat out of shield. Gotta be very careful. You gotta get to safety. If you keep going to the ground and keep trying to beat me, I got way better and faster frame data than you. And there, you sh you should simply um just gonna make it back. Now, if you're gonna play Captain Falcon, you're gonna have to learn a little bit more of his combos. Because that's really what makes and breaks the characters. There, you made a mistake. You F smashed me when I was at 27%. That wasn't gonna kill me. There's no reason that was gonna happen. The reason we don't do smash attacks at low percent is because they are very laggy and the enemy is able to attack you to punish your lag of your move. And that's exactly what happens. You F smashed me at 27% and I hit you with the dash attack at 15%. And then what's that gonna lead to? That's going to lead to 42%. Ah, oh, here we go. This is what happens when you don't mix up at all. Ever since you're playing Marth, I see in your Captain Falcon too. 
Every time you feel pressured and away from stage, in the middle stage, you want to jump out of the way. And I walked up to you and I saw that. I knew he was going to jump. So I jump and forward air to catch you. You got to mix yourself up. A lot more mix-ups. Choose different options. Roll away. That's smart. Up smash. Very good. Up smash is very broken on Captain Falcon. You gotta. That's very good. You gotta just throw that out, and sometimes it works. You gotta shield a lot more in this matchup. Okay. Try to go for the read there, but you can't just get cocky with it. There are some. I know you're gonna shield. I'm not. I know you're not gonna do anything. I'm waiting for you to jump out of your shield, and it, that's exactly what you do. I try to roll your your uh, your um your. I try to read your rolls just like you tried me. I noticed you throw out three smash attacks, and none of them hit. So you gotta be very careful. That's the first time I got you with the Nair off stage. I know you're choosing the same recovery route every time. Pretty easy to read. All right, we got some Fox combos. You're in disadvantage. Luckily you got that down air. Though, it was very tight. What was supposed to happen there is that back air should have hit you, but I misspaced it. Yeah, but a better Fox player would have absolutely hit that. And he would have been off stage, so that down air was pretty lucky. You gotta be shielding. You gotta be shielding. I'm gonna rush at you. I'm gonna throw my moves at you. That's the only way you're gonna block, be able to block them. There, you just miss it your down air. And right now that just means you're throwing out your moves without thinking about it too much. You can't be mashing. You gotta play it a little bit more patient if you're ever in disadvantage. In neutral and advantage, you're very patient. But when it comes to disadvantage, you just wanna get things going and fast. You don't wanna think about it. You don't wanna see where the enemy's coming to hit you. All right, let's, uh, let's get a different game. <clears throat> okay, here I'm going Pit, and I'll be going against your Resolina Luma. Alright, here, what I'm going to be looking for is I'm going to be trying to get you with some combos. I'm going to try to see if I can keep you off stage, keep my distance with my, um my arrows all you want to be doing here is you want to reflect everything i have and you want to try to beat me at a range yeah, that's what rosalina is good with down b for pit is very good if you i i know you play dark pit but anyone else who plays the pits you gotta use down b a lot it's more than a reflector it's just like that it protects you it's a whole area around you that they can't hit you with it's like using a shield in the air, or it's just a better shield on the ground. There you go, I got it back here. Trying to scare you a bit, get you right where it wants you. Alright, there's a shield again. Yeah, I know you play dark, but take a little bit of notes from, from this pip. Use use your down B, it's gonna protect you a lot. There, you gotta grab me just like you did. That's good. Good counterplay. Yep, just like that. Use your down B. Stall on the ledge or off stage. Don't let me um I want you I want you to watch this actually. Now, I want you to see the difference between you and me when it comes to how I am off stage like this. In the first game with Marth and Pikachu, this is what you would have done. 
You would have jumped this way and you would have tried to get back to stage as fast as you can. Oh, and against Pikachu, what happened is I got you with the lightning bolt. Now, I want you to see what I do. Here, I am being patient. I have this whole area to myself. Now you jump, and I'm not worried. I'm still drifting out this way. I even, this is called a B reverse. What I did was I was drifting at first. I was launched this way, and then I started drifting back this way, as you can see with the clouds. And then I did a B reverse, which is down B, and then go to the right immediately. And that immediately changes my direction. So now I'm drifting this way. That's to protect me in case you want to jump this way and throw a forward air. Now, if you didn't be reverse and you came back this way, that forward air would have hit you. That's why I did that be reverse. Something Pit has good um, ability with. Now, I'm back over there. See how far away I am with you? I'm far away. Now, I jump back, and because I am that far away, I'm able to jump back, and your fear didn't hit me. That's why it is important to be as back as you can and watch the other opponent to see what they're gonna do. And I'm able to get back to stage without getting hit. All right, here we just have some neutral. Here, I want you to see what happens here. I know that, um. Um, Pit's recovery is very exploitable, so I can't just simply go back up. So I wait a little bit, I hop, and I just wait for you to throw out your move, and then I make it back. I hit you with the back air, trying to hit you with the arrows, and there, uh, I'm not sure if you play Rizalina too much, but you should learn a little bit of how her up snaps to ledge or not. You should have used it <clears throat> a little bit lower, otherwise you'll go right over the stage like that and get punished. Alright, um, now we just got some neutral, waiting for your move, make it back to stage safely. Down air, forward air, try to go for the back air, it wasn't fast enough. When in doubt, I used my down B to get you off of me or deflect any of your moves. Here, I um, accidentally held up on my stick, which makes me skip the ledge and not grab it, which is how you're able to get the punish. Back air, up air, down air, nair. Didn't get the forward air, you jumped out in time. Got your back air. Nice grab, very nice grab. Lots of players with a dash attack there. F tilt, got you off me. Now, once again, you forward smashed me at 29%. That wasn't going to do anything, and you got punished for it. Instead, try to grab me, try to get a combo starter. No need to F smash me or any smash attacks when I'm this low. I know you want to bring it back, but you can't bring it back by making yourself use more likey moves. That's how you just seal your deal and die. Gotta be patient. You can win no matter how low you're at. 145, if I was at your percentage, there's a high chance I would have made it back. And the difference is just knowing how to make it back, how to play patient. And there, I got you with the burst, and you just died to it. Let's see uh, a next game. Alright, next matchup. Before we start, let's just make some thinking. Always want to think before your game. In your head, this is what you need to be thinking. He's playing Roy. Roy is a sortie with a disjoint. He's a very aggressive character. He doesn't have that good of a recovery, so I can exploit him with Ice Climbers. If he's ever off stage, I should be using my Ice Attack and just hit him with the two pieces of ice and that'll, that'll kill him. Roy doesn't have a good recovery. Roy doesn't have good grabs. His grabs don't kill to like a lot, like 180% plus. I I gotta grab I gotta shield a lot, so he's gonna be mashing on me just like Fox. All of his moves are gonna be attacking my shield. And if I shield them all, then there's no problem. That should be a practice you should be thinking whenever you fight someone. 
Now, all Roy players, what they're going to do is they're going to immediately start throwing out all their moves. Fair, nair, up air. They, want, they just want to start landing combos on you, get percent on you. That's where you got you to gotta be shielding. Now, Roy's ledge traps are very, very good. You have to be very careful. Roy can nair and just keep spamming nair. And you can't do much about it. Because if I keep spamming it, you're going to get hit by it. Now, assuming you were playing Marth, what you could have done there, uh, you could have up out of shield. Or Captain Falcon up out of shield. But here, this is my zone. This is what world players love. Down tilt. I'll keep spamming it, which means you can't keep waiting on ledge because if you wait and the and your invincibility goes away, the down tilt will knock you off. If I um, jab here and you, if I jab at this distance and you get up, you're gonna get jabbed and you're gonna get confirmed into a fair or bear, or maybe even there or F smash. Roy can confirm jab and F smash at this percent. Um, if you jump, I'm gonna nair and that's gonna cover your nair. Essentially what I'm trying to say is this entire area is covered by me So your only option here is to roll behind me That is the correct choice You need to roll behind me, but what do you do? I Nair to cover your jump. I missed the jump and you got up. So what I do I immediately jab and I got you at the down the up smash since you down there Got you with the tech chases. And I'm just gonna keep doing the job. And there you go, you rolled behind me and I brought you to safety. Good job. <laughs> oh, I anticipated the down air there. Playing Sopo is pretty hard. I know you're gonna you're gonna be looking for a kill. Smash attacks a lot, that's why I pulled out the counter. Now there I do remember there's a very important lesson I gave you in this set. Let's see. Here, my objective is to get rid of Nana. That is every player's objective against Ice Climbers, getting rid and killing Nana. And there goes Nana. I am now at 130, I know 126%, you're at 139. And you shielded, very good job. It's good to shield because I'm not gonna kill you. I'm not gonna be to kill you two a lot later. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do to you. From here on, I'm only gonna grab you to help you realize how impatient you are when it comes to your disadvantage. You are now in disadvantage. This is called disadvantage. When I just hit you with something and you are in the air or coming back and I have all this ground to cover. And you, your job is to make it back. You're scared. What do you do? I'm just standing here and you up air, uh, you up air dodge. That is an easy grab for me. Though you, you drifted out that way, so. I'm just waiting. I just want to see what you do. This is read reaction. Forward air? Shield. I'm, I'm not doing anything. I'm just watching. I'm observing what you're gonna do. What is the best path for you to do? I'm waiting. I am waiting until you're right there for your shield. What, what can I get from that? A grab. At this point, you should realize I'm only going for grabs. And you forward air again. You didn't even space it right. And you do it again. And I have my shield up. It is clear that I am just looking for you to hit my shield. I am baiting, I am waiting, and I know you're gonna do it. And you just keep, and you keep going. And there again, I'm just waiting. I know down throw is gonna kill that percent. I'm just waiting, letting you know. Trying to grab, and what are you gonna do to counter it? Here, you gotta, don't, don't air dodge back in that way. Please don't air dodge back in that way. Okay, good back out you want to be patient you want to get back all the way up, far away from me don't keep trying to throw attacks on me 
And if you're gonna do it, make sure it's space straight. Up air, not gonna kill since I had good DI. You got the F smash, there you go. I'm just waiting, I'm waiting. You can't just keep spamming out your moves. And because of that, Roy up smash finally kills at 196%. There's a lesson to be learned there. Here we have our final match. Steve versus Mario. Mario is a very combo intensive player or character that can kill you at 20-30%. The thing about Mario is he has no range. He has to be in your face. All of these characters I've been playing besides Pit have to be in your face. And the way to beat them is really a lot of getting away from them. It's something you gotta work on. But any able one to know when to shield. I got the Nair. Oh, I didn't get the up B. Comboed, comboed. And he threw a back air out. That wouldn't have hit me. If you're gonna throw a move out, you gotta make sure you know it's gonna hit or not. Oh, that back air should have hit there. I misspaced it a little bit, or mistimed it, I mean. And that right here, something experienced players are gonna do to you. That is called a wall jump. I go up to the wall, and then to perform a wall jump, you hug this wall, and you put your stick out to the right. And what that's gonna do, is that's gonna shoot you out that way. Now I'm gonna explain what else I did here. I jump out this way, and if you do it, Mario's gonna go over here like this. Now what I do is I immediately do a B reverse with my fireball to change my momentum that way. Which brings me back to the stage, and I come back to the stage with the fireball. You don't expect it, and you get hit, and you get comboed, and at higher percent, you would've died there. But the up B, more percentage. Here, I'm fishing for kills. This is where you gotta be shielding a lot. You gotta be real careful if you're putting out moves. You gotta think about your moves. Are they gonna hit? If they're not, if you're not 100% sure they're gonna hit, don't throw them out. That's what's gonna that's what's been getting you punished. <clears throat> now very important. Here I should have air dodged to avoid that, but I messed up. You're at 38%. No way you can die here, right? No, there is a way. Mario Fair Spike. Let's see how you could have avoided this. You could have rolled out this way. You could have uh, kept holding your shield and said you try to go for a grab. Now, that's gonna get you punished because Mario has a true confirm with rising up air to falling air to an F smash. The best thing you could have done there would have been to kept DI'ing out that way. That's the best thing you could have done. Though, your fate was sealed the moment that last up air was hit. And that is all of the games we played for our coaching session. And um, I hope you learned a lot from it. And I'm always in the Discord to help. The best way to get better is to just play players better than you. That's how I learned. I played players who were better than me and three stalking me for hours and hours. Because that's the fastest way you can learn, quite honestly. Watching your own gameplay like this, getting feedback, and losing and losing and losing and losing to better players. Because the better the player is, the faster you're gonna learn. So I highly recommend we just play some more games, play some other players on my level if you can find them, and just keep going back every game, try to learn, try to see what, think to yourself, what did I do wrong, what could I do better the next game, why did I lose that game, how can I fix it, can I fix it, is at the end of the day, it's not the character you play or they play, it all comes down to your fundamentals and realizing your mistakes and fixing them. But besides that, I hope you learned a lot. And if you you or anyone else ever needs coaching, you can join the Discord. And it will be in the description. 
and I uh, thank you all for joining the stream.